Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to review the Bosch JKS190 circular saw. Before I continue, please don't forget to sub to my channel and like this video. Alright, so I'm going to show you the things that come with the tool. First, it comes with a guide. Alright, so this is a circular saw guide and it also comes with an Allen wrench. The circular saw guide is about one foot long. You see that it's one foot. Now I'm going to show you the features that the circular saw has. First, it has a trigger lock. It has two locks on both sides. It has a good grip. And this is a trigger. The trigger's black. This one allows you to increase the the thickness of the blade how far the blade can cut into and this it allows you to adjust the angle of the blade maximum angle is 45 degrees that is how you lock it in place you also need to lock the uh, the one on the back of the tool and this is the blade guard it's very convenient because it opens when you're cutting the wood and this is where you lock the guide in place Alright, I'm going to show you how to install the guide. First, loosen it up. Then you need to stick it in this way. When you're satisfied with how long the guide is, you can lock it in place. Now I'm going to show you how to remove the blade. This is the Allen key that comes with the tool. Or you can use the 12 combination wrench. You can use either of those. Now let me show you the lock. So this red tab here, this allows you to lock the blade in place, allowing you to remove the blade. So, what you want to do is you press the lock, then remove the bolt using the Allen wrench. You just have to turn it counterclockwise. All right, the bolt has been removed. If you open the blade guard, you can remove the blade from the tool. So it looks like it's stuck, you just have to shake it. And there goes the washer. So basically there are two washers. So the blade goes in between two washers. The inner washer is white and the outer is black.
All right, let me put it back in place. The washer first, then the blade. Okay. Right now I'm showing you the wrong orientation of the blade. So the blade is going counter, um, I'm sorry, it's clockwise, which is wrong. So it doesn't have to be that way. So I'm going to take it out. I'm going to properly put it in place. Because the blade, if you look in this way, it should be counterclockwise. That's how you set it up properly. Now I'm going to put the washer back in place on the bolt. Then tighten it up. Again, you can use your Allen key or the 12 combination wrench. Turn it clockwise. Make sure that it's tight. And now I'm going to show you how deep you can cut your circular saw with. So according here, it's about two and a half inch or six and a half centimeter. Now I'm gonna cut some plywood using a guide. So if you're using a guide, you don't need to worry about how straight the cut will be because the guide will do its job for you. Right, there goes the cut part. I'm gonna pick it up just to show you that it's really straight. Okay, now I'm going to cut this wood using a triangle as a guide. So this is one of the ways that you can cut um, using a circular saw with a triangle. Make sure you firmly hold on to the triangle. Okay, let us start cutting. All right, it's now cutting through the wood and it falls off easily. And if you notice the cut, it's very smooth. I'm gonna cut the wood again. All right. Okay. So that's how you cut using circular saw. So guys, I highly recommend that you buy this because it's very useful. Um, making cabinets or for your DIYs it will totally save you time cutting your wood. Thank you for watching.